The conservative watchdog group Judicial Watch says the FBI has now found some new documents on that controversial 2016 tarmac meeting between former President Bill Clinton and then Attorney General Loretta Lynch. This was after the FBI previously said it didn't have any documents with that. The meeting came at the height of the Hillary Clinton email probe and fueled Republican speculation that the Clintons were trying to influence the outcome of that investigation. Meanwhile, Lynch will reportedly be grilled on Capitol Hill this week. She'll testify. Uh, House and Senate lawmakers will look into the Russian interference of the presidential election last year. Let's bring in now Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch. Tom, good to have you today. Let's good start afternoon. with the basics. What did we learn from these documents? Well, we haven't gotten them yet. Uh, the FBI, when we had sued for them, they did a, a supposedly a search and they told us at the beginning of the year they didn't have anything. Uh, we had another lawsuit against the Justice Department for records about this Clinton Lynch tarmac meeting. And we did get documents from the Justice Department that showed that they were in communication uh, with top officials of the FBI. So, lo and behold, the FBI comes back to us and says, we're going to reopen your FOIA. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was never closed since we were in litigation. And uh, just the other day, they told us they found 30 pages of records that they need or they want until November 30th to give us the records. And we don't know what's going to be in the records, but they're going to be all blacked out. Uh, but if I were the president, I'd be asking both the leadership of the FBI and Justice Department, hmm. what is going on here? What's with the stalling and what's with the obstruction? Because there may be an innocent explanation as to why these records were missing. Uh, but I find that to be a highly unlikely possibility. All right. So they told you that you have to wait until late November. You don't know what these documents are actually going to look like because you don't have them now to compare them to what they'll look like after they're redacted. So you won't know what you're missing. So in the meantime, you want the president to step in. Is this something that Judicial Watch then makes a point with with the White House or do you just hope for the best? Oh, we've previously told the White House uh, that they should take the approach of extreme transparency on these corruption issues. And my view is the deep state doesn't want to release these records. You see it with the Clinton issues, you see it with the Obama issues, and you frankly see it with the Trump-Russia issues, because I think they know releasing the records uh, would hurt people they like, like Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, and hurt people they don't like, like President Trump. And when you talk with uh, White House officials or whomever you've talked with, what have you been told in the past? Or are you hoping to have some fresh conversations now? Because now the game has changed. Now the FBI has found something it said it didn't have. You know, you, they hold their cards close to the vest. I think the White House probably would want to see the information released, but it's not clear to me the deep state wants to get it done. And okay. at this point, you have to wonder whether it's just plain insubordination by top officials, the Justice and FBI, in terms of withholding information we have a right to under the law. What about, uh, and, and we were reporting this on Outnumbered when it happened, because it happened, it broke during live during our hour last year. What about Lynch telling Comey, uh, former FBI Director James Comey, to refer to Hillary Clinton's email scandal as just a matter and not an investigation? Well, you know, that communication, if it happened and there are records about it, would be covered by this lawsuit. We haven't seen it yet. We've asked for the FBI records about the Clinton investigation. And uh, we've gotten records, but they've only released about half of the records they have. So for every record they give us, they withhold another one. Again, this is why the administration at the top levels needs to take it, pay attention to this issue, because this corruption is a major issue for mm -hmm. the American people. And this is why uh, people like Jeff Sessions and the new FBI director have their jobs is because people wanted uh, the swamp to be drained. And when you get this obstruction, Harris, this is the sort of thing that drives people crazy because they know the records can be released. We're not asking for state secrets. We want to know what the government was up to on this corruption issue. Yeah, that, that's really interesting to hear you put it in that way because they certainly have not labeled it this way, the FBI or anybody else. Uh, real quickly before I let you go, and I hear you wanting to give the FBI agents maybe a benefit of the doubt. Maybe somebody went rogue, maybe somebody made a mistake, whatever it may be. But the point is, and what the American people might want to ask is, what significance is this when you talk about a cover-up? You know, when we asked the State Department for records, they said they looked everywhere. They didn't have Hillary Clinton emails. And it was Judicial Watch FOIA litigation that forced their hand and forced them to disclose that they had all these Clinton emails. This reminds me of that, to be frank. That's what this reminds me of. The FBI only gave us, uh, coughed up these records, or will cough up some of these records in the least, I hope, 
mm -hmm. only because we caught them red-handed in, uh, in another FOIA lawsuit. It's really troubling. Uh, Tom Fitton of the Judicial Watch, we'll check back with you as we get closer to that deadline when the FBI says they're going to hand you some of those documents. Thank you very much for joining us, Tom. You're welcome.